Hi guys, welcome back to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the best diagnostic scan tools and scanners for your VW, Audi, Seat or Skoda vehicle in 2021 and 2022. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you which of these tools I would personally choose given my 15 years experience in the field. Now I'm gonna put links to all of these kits in the description and in the pinned comment section. So be sure to follow those links as they will take you to genuine and official products because fakes and clones do exist, so be very careful. Now I'm gonna start with the cheapest, working my way up to the most expensive. And what you'll generally find is the more expensive the product, the more functionality it will have. But that's not to say that any of the cheaper products won't do exactly as you need. It's all really about finding a tool that's suitable for your level, your experience, your circumstances and your specific requirements. So we're going to be starting with the iCarsoft VOS version 1.0 kit. Now this kit will allow you to, it's basically an all system scanner. So it will scan the, uh, you know, the systems in the vehicle, like the engines, the airbags, the ABS, the transmission. If you've got things like air suspension, parking sensors, it all really depends on the spec of the vehicle. But if you've got those installed to the vehicle, this should allow you to diagnose that fault. This is the cheapest tool. And it also does one special function as they are known and it will do the oil service resets. What it will do, um, I know a lot of the VAG cars have two, two separate resets that you need to do. This will do them both, so don't worry about that. Um, then we come to the VOS Vision 2.0 kit, which is this one here. It looks a little bit different, uh, but this kit will do everything that this kit will do, but this kit does additional special functions or additional service functions, if you like. So those additional functions do really depend on the vehicle, so you, it's worth checking with Diagnostic World to see if they actually are covered for the vehicle. But essentially, those additional systems are the electronic parking brake, DPF regeneration and reset, injector coding, ABS brake bleeding, electronic throttle reset, steering angle sensor, and new battery registration and reset. Like I say though, it doesn't do those functions on all vehicles, only some vehicles, so do check with Diagnostic World. I'll put the email in the description below. So that's, so the version 2.0 is a step up from the 1.0. But if you only need to go for say an airbag or ABS reset, on your VW or Audi or whatever, then you know there's no there's no harm in going for this kit alone. Next up, we come to the iCarsoft EU Pro Kit. Now this kit will do everything that both of these kits will do. However, this kit here has the ability to do this for other European manufacturers as well. So let's say, for example, you've got a VW, an Audi, a Seat, or Skoda primarily that you use, but you also want to maintain a different car in your family uh, or your friend circle. It might be like a BMW or Mercedes or Volvo, uh, Vauxhall, something like that. And then this kit will do that. This does European manufacturers for everything that these does functionality and system wise. So that is a, another good option. Then we move on to the iCarsoft CR Pro. And again, there's a theme here that this kit will do everything that all of these kits will do, uh, but this kit will do it for the manufacturers that are worldwide. So it will do the Asian market, like your Toyota, Nissan, Mitsubishi, Mazda. It'll also do the American market. So it'll do your Chryslers, your Chevrolets, your Jeep, your Dodgers. Um, things like that. Um, but obviously you get the same functionality in this tool as you would on all of these tools. The only thing different with this one is that it covers more manufacturers from different regions as well. And then we come to the, uh, the final kit on the list, which is the Autel Maxicom MK808. This really is the most expensive. It's the most expensive because it is simply the best. Um, probably out of reach price-wise for most DIYers, you're probably gonna be looking at this tool if, say for example, um, you, you just absolutely want the best and you can afford it, or alternatively, uh, you know, you're a small garage, a small workshop, and you don't really know what vehicle you'll be looking at on a day-to-day -day basis, so you need to make sure that you are gonna be able to cover whatever comes your way. But there's nothing to say that if you are a DIYer and you've never used one of these tools before, that you can't go for this tool, because you absolutely can. You just get absolutely more functionality. Whereas this, these tools cover about eight service functions, this tool covers about 25 service functions. So it covers all of the main systems like your engines, your airbags, ABS transmission, but it has 25 service functions. You know, it'll do things like um, gear learning and suspension calibration over and above 
what these kits will do. This is the best, it costs the most, but that's not to say that any of these tools you know, aren't, as, aren't good for your specific circumstances or needs. Which of these tools would I personally recommend if I was gonna go and buy one of these tools given my experience? Honestly, all day long, it would be the iCarsoft CR Pro. I think for a DIY level, um, and it, it gives you a good level of functionality. It gives you a good level of system coverage and, syst and vehicle coverage as well. So this is the tool that I would certainly recommend if you are pondering which tool to go for. Um, it's gonna future-proof your, your, your usage of these tools as well. So you might have a, you know, a VW now, but you might be looking to get a BMW next year, something like that. Uh, it's always gonna be there for you should you need it. Uh, so that's what I'd recommend. Remember all of these, uh, the kits, the, the links are in the description and in the pinned comments section. So follow those links if you wanna make sure you get Getting genuine and official products. If you do have any questions about these, I'll put the email address to Diagnostic World in the description below this video. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you have found it helpful. I hope you have um, taken some, some value from this. And if you have, then please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.